Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Sara Lebrik. Social Development Minister Osama bin Ahmed Khalaf al Asfour patronized the 18th annual Ramadan celebration of Al Hikmah Retired Society, which was held in cooperation with Abdullah bin Khalid Center for Parental Care. The minister affirmed his keenness on fostering cooperation with the society to serve the national goals. He commended the pivotal role of civil societies in national development and praised the efforts of Al Hikmah Retired Society in promoting social and voluntary work through its partnership with official bodies and agencies, as well as private sector institutions. A number of retirees and elderly as well as supportive institutions to the society were honored during the ceremony. Tourism Minister Fatma bin Jafar al Sayrafi has received Higher Education Council HEC Secretary General and Vice Chairperson of the Board of Trustees Dr. Sheikh Rana bin Taysa bin Taid al Khalifa, where both discussed preparations to host the Global Higher Education Exhibition GHEDEX 2023 between the 6th and 8th of May at Exhibition World Bahrain. The Minister affirmed Bahrain's keenness on continuing to support hosting and organizing events, exhibitions, and conferences which reinforce the status of the Kingdom of Bahrain and enhances its competitiveness. Al Sayrafi was pra praised of the events to be held on the sidelines of JEDEX, which includes the Technical Education and Vocational Training Exhibition, Trainex, and the Conference on Innovation and Entrepreneurship at Bahraini Schools, Colleges, and Universities, and uh, JEDEX Awards for Excellence in Higher Education. The Minister welcomed hosting uh, JEDEX, or JEDEX 2023 in Bahrain, stressing the importance of such functions and highlighting opportunities in academic studies. She affirmed the Tourism Ministry's key is on continuing to work with all partners to foster educational tourism and attract more international students. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Adel Fakhra, has visited Awal Gulf Manufacturing on a ser series of visits to inspect the latest industrial and commercial sector developments. The Minister stressed that Bahrain welcomes investments to increase economic growth under the Industrial Sector Strategy 2022-2026 to increase the industrial sector's contributions to GDP, increase exports and provide job opportunities for citizens. Fakhra praised private sector institutions and Awal Gulf Manufacturing efforts to support the industrial sector and achieve Bahrain's economic vision of 2030. He stressed the ministry's keenness to enhance companies' work and develop them. The Kingdom of Bahrain has recorded its highest real GDP growth rate in almost a decade. It was announced in the Kingdom's annual economic report, which details that real GDP growth achieved or reached 4.9% in 2022, the highest rate since 2013. Additionally, the economic report reveals Bahrain's witnessing 6.2% percent non-oil real GDP growth, the highest rate since 2012 and in excess of 5 percent annual targets set by the Kingdom's economic recovery plan. Launched in 2021, the multi-year five-pillar plan aims to enhance the economy's long-term competitiveness and support post-COVID-19 recovery. It is one of Bahrain's largest ever reform programs with over 30 30 billion dollars capitalized for investment and significant labor market and regulatory reform to improve the ease of going doing business the kingdom also reported a drop in deficit to gdp to minus 1.1 percent a drop in debt to gdp to 100 percent and a primary surplus of 3.3 percent following the announcement bahrain's minister of finance and national economy sheikh salman bin khalifa al khalifa said the positive results are the accumulation of many years of hard work and careful planning by the government of Bahrain to lay the foundations for a sustainable, diverse and prosperous economy. Central to these efforts has been the Comprehensive Economic Recovery Plan launched in 2021, which is an investment in our nation's people, our businesses and the future of Bahrain. The Electricity and Water Authority, EWA, has announced adding the option of personal attendance to the subscriber services center in Zayed Town. The authority aims to provide higher quality services to all subscribers, announcing in the same context that it has started in Zayed Town through the advanced appointment booking service starting tomorrow, Sunday, with the aim of accelerating the quality of work and facilitating the provisions of all services to subscribers with a higher efficiency. EWA affirmed its keenness to develop its services provided to subscribers with a developmental time plan. 
In the context of the plans to provide a local product that meets the requirement of the market in the holy month of Ramadan, Delmon Chicken, in cooperation with chicken breeders, raised nearly double its daily production as the local chicken production enjoys high quality, fixed prices and affordable to all. In the year 2022 was marked by the continuation in implementing the strategy approved to the rehabilitation and modernization of the various production sites and poultry farms companies in Bahrain as it is completed a number of, uh, of developments development projects including the electoral power infrastructure which ensures the continuity of production in various circumstances in addition to accommodating the increase in productivity in poultry slaughterhouses and the completion of the projects of inspection and strengthening the foundation of the feed mill factory basement as part of the rehabilitation plan. Poultry companies in Bahrain are also working on a chicks hatchery projects in addition to frozen warehouses at the slaughterhouse sites. Their vision and aspirations are to develop the quality of works and its outputs. The Ministry of Health has affirmed its continued close follow-up on regional and global developments regarding the health conditions related to monitoring a number of cases infected with the Marburg virus disease MVD in Tanzania and Equatorial Guinea. In a statement, the Health Ministry stated that based on the risk assessment carried out by the Gulf Center for Disease Prevention and Control, GCDPC, it was found that the chances of the virus reaching the Kingdom of Bahrain are low as there are no direct airline flights with Tanzania and Equatorial Guinea. The Ministry of Health has indicated that it is in constant coordination with the World Health Organization and the GCDPC to monitor events related to communicable diseases to diverse preparedness and response plans which include providing logistical preparations and harnessing all necessary energies, capabilities, equipment, medical and laboratory devices as well as setting the necessary protocols for dealing with them including prevention, isolation and treatment in addition to intensifying epidemiological monitoring and investigation. The Health Ministry said it will provide society with the latest developments regarding the virus through various official media and its accounts on social networking sites and through the official platform for health development in the kingdom, healthalert.gov.ph, stressing importance of obtaining information from official sources. In international news, Saudi Arabian authorities have advised Umrah pilgrims not to bring large sums of cash and expensive items when traveling to the kingdom to perform the lesser pilgrimage. In a post on Twitter, the Ministry of Hajj and Umrah advised pilgrims traveling to Saudi Arabia not to bring gold bullions as precious stones and valuable precious metals in general and to carry a maximum of 16,000 US dollars in cash. The government authority also urged worshippers to download bank apps from official sites not to share bank account details or transfer money to unknown parties and to ignore text messages from unknown sources. The United Arab Emirates sent 38 tons of medical aid and food supplies to families in Afghanistan affected by a recent earthquake in the country. At least 13 people were killed and more than 90 injured after a magnitude 6.5 earthquake struck Afghanistan and Pakistan just over a week ago. The epicenter of the quake was in the Hindu Kush mountains. In June last year, the UAE built a 1,000 square meter field hospital with 75 beds that could treat up to 200 patients per day after another earthquake struck a host in a southeastern Afghanistan. From 2021 to 2022, the UAE sent a total of 28 planes carrying 623 tons of medical and food supplies to the country. This aid benefited around 1.1 million people, including 850,000 women and children.